Hi. Coordination compounds have a central metal ion surrounded by ligands. In this video, we will give you a summary of isomerism in coordination compound. Isomerism in coordination compounds is similar to isomerism that we see in organic chemistry or other such compounds. We have structural isomerism and stereoisomerism, which is isomerism in space. Stereoisomerism is further broken into geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism. And when we are looking at stereoisomerism, we look at some special cases uh, like the tetrahedral and square planar, which are represented as ML4, where M is the central metal ion surrounded by four ligands. And we look at octahedral arrangements, which are central metal ions surrounded by six ligands. In ionization type of structural isomerism, we have this coordination compound giving sulfate ion in solution and this coordinate compound gives bromide ion in solution. So if we do a test of the solution with barium chloride, we will get a yellow precipitate here and we will get a white precipitate here. In this case, the ion in the solution is chloride in both cases. Uh, but if we see the structure, we have uh, five ligands of H2O and one ligand of chlorine here. In this type of uh, structural isomerism, the central metal ion CO is linked to the lone pairs uh, of electrons of oxygen. Whereas in this case, the central metal ion is linked to the lone pair electrons of nitrogen. So here the two coordination compounds are have different ligands. So here CO has NH3 as ligand and here uh, CO has cyanide as ligands. In this case we have a coordination compound and uh, these two are linked by two metal ions. Uh, this has four ammonia ligands and this has three ammonia ligands and one chlorine and this is polymerism. Stereoisomerism is isomerism in spatial arrangement. So here for example these two ligands are at 90 degrees to each other whereas in this molecule B and B are at 180 degrees. Such compounds have the same chemical formula and the same chemical properties but have different physical properties like boiling point or freezing point etc. Optical isomers are mirror images of each other. One of the key aspects is that they cannot be superimposed on top of each other. Optical isomers have identical physical properties and chemical properties. The main difference is that the plane of polarized light when passed through such optical isomers is rotated clockwise or anticlockwise depending on the geometry of the optical isomer. Geometrical isomers differ in their arrangement in space. They may not be mirror images of each other and therefore do not exhibit the reflection operation. However, the physical properties of such geometrical isomers is different from each other like the boiling point or the freezing point etc. So we start with the geometrical isomers and we look at the tetrahedral shape coordination compounds first. So in these compounds, we do not see geometrical isomerism and the reason is that if we rearrange uh, B or D or C or A in any manner, the angle between them remains as 109 degree. It does not change. So which means that geometrical isomers uh, are not possible for tetrahedral complexes. The first type that we look are the central metal ion surrounded by four different type of ligands A, B, C, D and we have three possible isomers here. 
So A and D are at 90 degrees to each other here. They are at 180 degrees to each other here and A and B are at 180 degrees. So we have three isomers here. This is a case where we have the central ligand surrounded by A, B and C repeated. Here NH3 is repeated and we have two isomers possible here. NH3 is at 90 degrees and here it is 180 degrees. Here we have MA2B2 where A and B both are repeated. NH3 and Cl here are repeated. So we have two isomers. So this is of type MAB2 where AB is a bidentanth ligand. So here we have the ligand attaching using N lone pair electrons and O lone pair electrons. And there are two isomers possible here, one at 90 degrees and one at 180 degrees. In an octahedral complex, the central metal ion is surrounded by six ligands. And each of these ligands is at 90 degree with respect to each other. So the two blue balls are at 90 degrees to each other. And the green ball is at 90 degree with respect to each of the blue balls. And the angle between these two green balls here is 180 degree. So in such complexes, uh, which are of type MA6 or MA5B, uh, no isomerism is possible because each of the angles is 90 degrees. Here between A and B and here again between A and B. In complexes of type MA2B4, so NH3 is B4 and Cl is A2. There are three isomers possible. So here we have angle between Cl and Cl is 90 degree. Here angle between Cl and Cl is 180 degree and between NH3 and NH3 is 180 degree. So we see three isomers in these situations. Here in this complex MAA2B2 and AA2 is En here, we see that Cl and Cl have a 90 degree angle here and between this Cl and this there is 180 degree angle. So such complexes show two isomers. This is of type MAB3 and here again we see that all the O2N have are at 90 degrees between each other. Similarly NH3 here and in this isomer NH3 is at 180 degree and similarly NO2 is at 180 degree from each other. So there are two isomers possible in this situation. We now look at optical isomerism. So in tetrahedral structures which are of type M, A, B, C, D where A, B, C and D each of them are different unique ligands. Uh, we find that we see two isomers and these are mirror images of each other and one of the key conditions is that these are not superimposable. So in tetrahedral structures only for type M, A, B, C, D we see optical isomerism and we see two optical isomers. Square planar structures uh, do not exhibit optical isomerism because we cannot create uh, structures which are not superimposable. So wherever we create two structures which look like mirror images, we are able to superimpose them and therefore these are not optical isomers. Octahedral complexes of type MAA3 where AA is a bidentate ligand show two optical isomers, one and two. In this case, this is not active opti optically. This is a geometric isomer and does not show optical isomerism. Octahedral structure of these various types like MACDEF should show optical isomerism but these have not been experimentally resolved so far and are therefore not studied. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.